A Fresno musician out of tune after his violin was stolen out of his car. Caleb Sanders here not only plays in two orchestras, he also uses his violin to teach others. CBS 47's Dennis Valera is live in studio. Dennis, the stolen violin is also a family heirloom. Yes, Kirsten, that's right. His father gave it to him and he also uses it a lot to post for his lessons up on YouTube. Now, while he has another violin to use in the meantime, he says nothing can replace the voice he just lost. To the average ear, this sounds like a beautiful song, but to Caleb Sanders ear, it just sounds foreign. It's not the same. <laughs> it's because it's not his main violin. He played those strings for nearly 10 years until someone stole it out of his car Tuesday in broad daylight. When he lost it, he lost a piece of himself. It's almost like you lost your voice and it'll never be that voice anymore. You can't be as loud when you're talking, even though you want to, you know, speak loudly, you just can't. And if you want to speak quiet, you come out raspy and it's just not the same. It's kind of like that. The violin is a family heirloom, but that's not all that makes it one of a kind. The shoulder rest on it isn't made anymore. The wooden thing where the strings go over, that was hand carved by my friend. All these like things, you know, it's all like personalized. Aside from the violin, it's case, which had three bows and pictures of his daughter inside also taken. Sanders Sear has posted about his loss on social media and has gotten a lot of support. He's appreciative, but all he wants is his voice back. To have somebody do this, it's like it was already bad, but now it's like, you know, give me a break. Now, Senator Sears' friends have been checking pawn shops, and he's also keeping tabs of a number of marketplace apps for his violin. Now, if you've seen it, you can reach him directly. I'll put his contact info online with the story at yourcentralvalley.com. Live in studio, Dennis Valera, CBS 47 Eyewitness News. Dennis.